here we can use elimination method or substitution method but our aim in this video is to learn how to use graphical method to solve this problem first step here is to separate equation 1 and equation 2 next we are going to make y the subject for both equations here i will say y is 1 minus 2x and for this i will leave 3x here i will move this minus 6y across and i will have plus 6y i will move this 24 across i will have minus 24. likewise i can have that 6y is 3x minus 24. i want to make y the subject so i will have that y is 3x minus 24 divide by 6. the next step is we are going to choose range of integers let me choose between minus 2 and 2 also i will choose between minus 2 and 2. you can choose between minus 5 and 5 minus 3 and 3 or even from 0. however at the end of the day we are going to extrapolate the line to cover other range of integers next we're going to draw a table for both equations and we're going to consider the range of value we are considering here between minus 2 and 2 likewise i will do the same for the other table next i will consider the first equation i will put minus 2 for x so that i will have minus 2 will multiply 3 and i will get minus 6 minus 6 minus 24 i will have minus 30 minus 30 divided by 6 i will have minus 5 next for x equals minus 1 here i will have minus 4.5 next for x equals 0 i will have minus 4. next for x equals 1 i'm going to have minus 3.5 next for x equals 2 my y is minus 3. i'm done with table 1. next i will consider table 2. For table 2, if I put minus 2 for x, that is 1 minus 2 in bracket, I'm putting this minus 2. Hence, I'll have 1 minus times minus is plus 4 and I'll end up having 5. That's how we got this 5. Next, for x equals minus 1 into this equation, I will get 3 next for s equals zero here two times zero is zero and i'm left with one next if i put one here i will have one minus two i will have minus one next if i put two here i'm going to have two times two is four one minus four will give you minus three now our table one and table two is completed next we need a graph paper to complete this solution next we need a graph paper to plot our table and from the graph we're going to trace for the value of our x and for our y let's assume that this is our graph and we plot table one for example to have this and we plot for our second equation probably to be this however i'm just giving an example this is not a graph for this if this is the point of intersection we're going to trace our point to determine our x and we're going to trace this point to determine our y 
if you substitute the value of your x and y if you actually plot correctly you are going to get 24 and 1 remember this is just an example your graph won't look like this for this plotting to plot the graph let's consider table 1 from equation 1 when x is minus 2 which is minus 2 on the x axis y is minus 5 on the y axis to trace both lines this will be our point next when x is minus 1 which is this point y is minus 4.5 which is here if you trace both lines this is the meeting point next when x is 0 y is minus 4 that is when x is 0 y is now minus 4 next when x is 1 y is minus 3.5 and both lines meet here next when x is 2 y is minus 3 and both meet here next with a ruler draw a straight line to join all the points this is the straight line graph for table one from equation one next let's consider table two for equation two still on the same graph when x is minus two y is five both meet at this point next when x is minus 1 y is 3 both we meet at this point next when x is 0 y is 1 and this will be the point next when x is 1 y is minus 1 and this is the meeting point next when x is 2 y is minus 3 and here we have a superimposition point which is just a coincidence and our next point is here next with a long ruler we are going to join all the points this is a straight line graph for table 2 from equation 2 next consider the point where the two lines met the two lines crossed each other at this point next from that point trace a line to the x axis and to the y axis respectively on the x axis our answer is 2 and for the y trace on the y axis our answer is minus 3 and this is the answer for the simultaneous equation